Dad's story is one of those fairy tales where he came from absolutely nothing and he went on to achieve huge things in a sport and dominate it. I would say the only person I could compare him to is probably Dorenzo Ferrari. And, um, you know, he was as passionate about his cars and he loved Formula One and he loved racing. Nothing breaks like a heart. Last week, we learned that Sir Frank Williams, the founder and former team principal of Williams F1 Racing, had passed away. A pioneering and inspirational figure in Formula One, his tenacity and lifelong obsession with motor racing brought with it some extraordinary highs, but also some tragic lows. This car's half a second slower on the stopwatch than the other car. He was very competitive, Frank. Frank was a, a guy that went to win. The name of the game is winning and is what motivates everybody here. Frank made a lot of his own personal dreams come true and he made a lot of drivers' dreams come true. Frank's passing was really sad news, of course, for myself, for my entire family, because we have so much to thank the Williams family for. They gave my dad his big breakthrough in Formula One. I was racing in GP2 and then Frank came to me and said, listen, I would like you to race for me next year. He was a fighter. Uh, he fought and won a lot of battles um, and uh, so sadly uh, unfortunately he didn't beat this one. Sir Frank was 24 years old when he started his first racing team and just three years later he'd made it to Formula One with Piers Courage behind the wheel. Courage tragically died in 1970 and despite years of financial woes Sir Frank would go on to establish Williams Grand Prix Engineering with Patrick Head leading the technical side. Mum really did play an instrumental part in Williams. I've always said if your know, mum wasn't around, Williams wouldn't exist because it was really mum's money that kept Frank going when he had none. Everything that Frank did was motivated towards racing. So I had to become motivated towards racing as well. So that's how we lived. Their first F1 race win in 1979 set them down a path of success, winning two constructors and drivers championships in the early 80s thanks to Alan Jones and Kathy Rosberg. Things were looking good for the team until in 1986, Sir Frank's life changed forever. When the accident occurred with Frank, the road accident, the car hit the end and went up in the air, just complete silence. I remember just thinking, what is going on? There's, there's no noise now. And then massive impact as we landed. Frank broke his neck and his spinal cord uh, very high up, and he was tall and tense and purposes on his deathbed. I remember very clearly the first visit, going and seeing Dad in the London hospital, and it, was, it wasn't a pleasant experience, I have to say. After months of recovery and rehabilitation, Sir Frank made an unbelievable return to Formula One. Dad didn't let his accident stop him from being a great team owner through achieving so many different things. He never let that get in the way. I feel normal. Um, maybe I'm not quite as mobile as I would like to be, but I'm enjoying being here very, very much indeed. Sir Frank would oversee a period of domination in the 80s and 90s, becoming the second most successful Formula One team ever with 16 constructors and drivers championships. But in 1994, tragedy would strike once again with the death of Ayrton Senna. You know, Dad's two, I think, serious incidents in his life that have deeply affected him would be Piers' death and Ayrton's death. I know how much Dad adored Ayrton, and that for Dad, I think it was heartbreaking. After a dark period, Damon Hill and Jacques Villeneuve helped to lift the team with consecutive drivers' and constructors' titles in 1996 and 1997. The team have since experienced a barren period, with their final victory coming in 2012. On the same weekend, Sir Frank celebrated his 70th birthday. The same year, he stepped back from the Williams board with daughter Claire replacing him. He would remain as team principal until the team was sold in 2020. His 43 years in charge made him the longest serving team boss in the sport's history. I don't want them to forget how this team started. I don't want them to forget the sacrifices that mum and dad made for Williams and what they went through in their lives and because that shapes or has shaped the whole DNA of Williams F1. Sir Frank was a true legend, an icon of our sport. 
His passion for racing evident in everything he did. His memory and legacy will live on. Farewell, Sir Frank.